specific, the serum. Yeah, okay. you can see he's already got the serum powder, I think. <clears throat> okay. Well, that, that's the version I play Simeon Spirit Guide too. Well, yeah, because he just wants to, like, pump out. The frump. That is I. Can we call you the, the frump Trump? The Trump frump? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. I'm just going to call you Trump. Mm. I actually have a picture on my Facebook of the Trump building, but my friend edited to say frump instead. Hey. It's great. The frump tower. Yeah. I'll put it back up. It used to be Mike my cover my cover for that a while. That needs to be your next uh, profile picture from Tower. No, it's a better cover. I'll just put it on right now. I appreciate while we're doing that. this. I By forgot. the way, anybody send me angry emoji memes. Yeah, I know, right? Those are the best memes. While we're on the dank meme subject, send me angry emoji memes. Yeah, let me see. I know I had it here. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna get into the action here. Angry Momo, yes. Turn one Eldrazi temple into a Eldrazi mimic. This is a guy that I remember from back in uh, Eldrazi winter, back when uh, Aya Vugan was still around. Mm -hmm. Brutal deck. Um, Josh can follow here with a Cavern of Souls and two in Aether Vial. Two Eldrazi temples. Let's see what he can pay it off with. I'm going to assume it's going to be Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Five mana in two Reality Smasher. Some come in for ten. This is really <coughs> reminiscent of those days when you would just I have Ugin turn one, put a I put one or two of these little two drop dorks down for free. Turn two, put out like a Eldrazi displacer, not a displacer. What's that guy? Uh, the Thought Not Seer. Yeah, Thought Not Seer. Or one of these dudes and just go to town. Well, so, like, yeah, slap indeed. Oof. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this is super busted, dude. Big oof. So we're going to see if Josh can come back from this. I mean, Well, that... and here's the thing, too. Sam's hand is actually ridiculous right now. He's got a Thought Knots here and a re another Reality Smasher. Yeah, so it's real bad. Yeah, everything's bad here for Josh. Does he have another land to power one of those out or no? He can power out the Thought Knots here at minimum. Oh, he has, oh, he has, he has two, two temples, temples yeah. for sure. Well, well, and here's the thing about this matchup. I think Josh is uh, at, a, at a disadvantage in the matchup just on paper because Sam is way bigger. And he goes really fast too, so. No, yeah. Kite sail free booty. Gonna Can take a look at. Uh, oh, maybe there's not another uh, reality smasher. I looked at it wrong. It's a thought not seer, a blank moth nexus, and something else. I'm not sure. I mean, that's still terrifying because he's still gonna get to beat in here for another nine, and the yeah. kite sail free booty is gonna sit there and just say, "Hey." And that's another Eldrazi mimic off the top. Ooh. If only he had like an if he had like another temple here, that would have been super busted. Oh man! Because that would just been like mimic and then another one. Gonna get rid of your mantis rider here. Yep. Yep. And just go ahead and turn sideways Bash. for nine. Yes. Yep. Turn. Turn. Well, if you turn the mimic, you trade with one of them. The mimic's a four four. It copies the thought knots here. Oh right. Yeah, it's right, especially right. for nine. Yeah, so he's good. Yeah, like another slap in the face. So Josh is just probably dead slap. next turn. Yeah, yeah. super slap. So this is real bad. Well, because then it's like he can just now fly over. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Josh is just up. like, we're good here. Yeah, dead too many ways to Sunday, unfortunately. I mean, Sam basically just nutted on him. Right. It was real bad. I mean, that's probably one of the best openings you can get with that deck. So you said real real reminiscent of, you know, we just go mimic, mimic, mimic. Thought not here, dead. Yeah, exactly. So what do we got here from uh, Sam? We have one Relic of Regenitus, three Ratchet Bombs, one Graft Digger's Cage, two Damping Sphere, three Spatial Contortion, one Crucible of Worlds, two Sorcerer's Spyglass, and two Surgical Extractions. Uh, so for this matchup, I'm going to expect him to bring in the three Ratchet Bombs, yep. the three Spatial Contortions, and, and that's, that's it. about it. Yeah. Over on Josh's side, we see two Deputies of Detention, Two Dampening Spear, two Knight of Autumn, two Amir and Crusader, one Venzer, one Camball, two Sin Collector, two Dismember, and two Oriak Champion. I first thing I see is the two Dismembers. Uh, they seem very good here. You can bring in the two Deputy of Detention. Sam's not going to interact with those very well. How does humans win this? I really don't think they do. Like Josh has to, like he has to hope Sam doesn't do everything he wants to do very quickly. He needs to stumble, and then Josh has to go really hard, really fast. Yeah, Josh just has to like try and grow a champion of the parish out of range really fast, or just try and fly over with a bunch of flyers, you know, with um, Kaisel Freebooter and Mantis Rider. Right. This is this feels like. Uh, <laughs> Kind of how we were watching earlier, Storm versus right. uh, Red White Prison. I actually like the Dampening Spear here 
Dampening Spears here, too, because it does shut off Eldrazi Temple, which is really nice. Yeah, but he's not Tronning, so I don't want him. Yeah. I mean, he just needs some sort of interaction because, like, he doesn't really just do much against Sam, unfortunately. Have you played against the U Black Eldrazi Emerge deck before? Uh, no, I haven't. It oh, sounds sweet, that though. That sounds very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, like, turn one champion to Thalia. Thalia's Utenia just kind of grow it out of range. I mean, if you can land uh, turn three, like, new Thalia and kind of, like, maybe stymied him a little bit. But the issue is that Sam's going to try and, like, Serum Powder into a super broken hand regardless. Right, that's the thing. He plays four Serum Powders, so, like, his opening hand's going to be good. You right, know? he's going to make sure it's going to be good. Right. Which is huge. Does humans have Path? I don't think so. Uh, probably not in the main deck. And he doesn't have him in the side, right. so... so I just expect that the two de deputy at attention, the two dismembers, and then just hope that he draws well enough. Right, and that's pretty much it. Josh no plays nothing but this humans deck when he's here, at least. Um, so he knows all of his matchups very well, and he probably knows just how bad this match is. Yeah. Um, and he is going to go ahead and mulligan. Yeah, it's kind of like what we saw round one. Like, you know, Dan just got got hated out. Turn really two, hard. yeah, and then game two is like turn two, turn three, turn There's four. There's a serum powder. We were just yeah. talking about it. So we're gonna throw it all away. Probably get a better hand here. You know why I really like serum powder? You drew another deck. serum powder. It's a, you dropped two serum powders yeah, in that you one. Did. You're uh, gonna throw that one away too. Yeah, you're definitely gonna um, just, like, because drop there's that. Yeah, there's another copy of the card you can see on top of his exile pile right now, which he's gonna put conveniently too. Wow, he's got three of them in exile now. Oh, God. Yeah, the Eternal Scourge. Would you mind pulling that one up for us, Andrew? Yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I was literally just about to talk about um, is why I like Serum Powder so much in this deck is basically you get to have a perfect hand. You know what I mean? You're going to keep mm -hmm. what you're going to get something great, but you have these Eternal Scourges that just get to come back. So he's going to... Yeah, I think he's probably going to mulligan. Is this another Serum Powder hand? Yeah. Well, that was the two um, Eldrazi Displacers. Okay. Yeah, he have to wait until Josh resolves his mulligan. So, it's going to do it again. Look at that. Dude, Josh is just like, what the hell, man? Three know, of right? them. Starting your starting with your deck with like 14 less cards in it, and then you have seven in your hands. It's like 21 and, like, cards out of your deck. Keep in mind, you have... You no, know, no, no, no. You have... Ten cards in your opening hand. Three of them are Eternal Scourges. Yeah, that's true. Those that's are essentially ridiculous. just in your hand, yeah. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Isn't it, though, man? I love it. I do, too. The first oh, time I saw snap. the interaction, I was just like, oh, this isn't fair. Well, now he's got to <laughs> wait. So like, he just played Temple turn one. I was going to play a Waste turn two and just like, Scourge, Scourge, Scourge. Yeah. He gets Scourges forever, and uh, then he's got at least a Reality Smasher. Uh -oh. So name Eternal Scourge real quick. Yes, name Scourge. <laughs> and just lock it out of here forever. <laughs> Yep, beats in here. So if Josh is going to win, this is how we do it. Yep, Chris Pakula. I mean, wrong art, but still. Chris yeah. Pakula-inspired card. But I think I see a Spatial Contortion in his hand, and I see a Matter of Shaper there, so that at least hold it down. Ooh, another temple. Yeah, I know. I don't know if it's too much to ask Dan to see if we can put a little piece of paper on the uh, Chris Pakula. Yes, Just to please. see what it's naming. I think he's naming Eternal he, Scourge. You can see he, like, threw it away or yeah, something. Yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah, poor humans. No, that is yeah, just the correct. That uh, seems correct. Yeah. So. Let's see what Sam can put together here. That deck looks sweet, honestly. Yeah, that deck is I tough. was a big fan of, like, Elder Deepfiend when it was in Standard. That was one of my favorite creatures. Yeah, well, that card's busted. Has won first four weeks in a grow with it. Wow. Wow. So we're going to see here with the Noble Hierarch, grow that champion. Like we said, I think this is the only way that like Josh is really going to come out from under this. Yeah. It's just get bigger than Sam, which, you know, Sam is trying to be bigger than everybody else. I think he drew another Serum. I think he either drew a Serum Powder or a Third Temple. Oh. No, nope. Gemstone Caverns. Gemstone Caverns. They look similar. Is that, a, is that the Spatial Contortion in his hand? Because if he has that, I would just snap that off right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You got to do it. I would just do it now and then just play a Scourge and just try and get on the battlefield here. Isn't that an Eldrazi spell? Because you can cast. Can you cast Temple for the, for that, or is it just a Void? That's a good question. Yeah, I'm gonna check that right now. I don't think it's an Eldrazi spell. That'd be too good. Eldrazi instant. No, it's just okay. It's just colorless. Never mind. Oh, okay. that would have been sweet though, because then yeah. you can cast a Scourge turn. But regardless, yeah, I think you need to get um, Metal Mage off the battlefield as soon as possible. Oh, for sure. But, yep. But <clears throat> Josh can get real aggressive here. I think, yeah, you just turn both sides. Bash for seven, yeah. Nope, he's going to leave go that four. guy back. Okay. Yeah, I think you just turn both sides, unless he's, like, really scared of a Reality Smasher. But, I mean, he's almost bigger than Reality Smasher at this point. 
That's all you seem to run into nowadays, cute bunny, is Phoenix. Actually, a cute bunny, how many, or what deck are you playing? If you're playing blue-white, I run four, because I'm not playing Jace's at the moment. But yeah, otherwise I probably play like two terminus, or I play four terminus, and then a subtle, and, oh, just guy. Just guy, okay. Five? It's an Endbringer. So look at Sam's hand here, man. His hand is ridiculous. Endbringer, um, Ratchet Bomb, Land, and then two other things. But all you need to see is Endbringer, Ratchet Bomb. <laughs> well, Endbringer is just going to start like locking Josh out of the game here. Isn't it four for Exalted? You know, it's four for Exalted unless... Yeah, he is at 16. Yeah, unless he didn't announce that. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, but that is a trigger you can Is that can a mess. Basilisk Collar? Oh. 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 That's real bad for Josh. That's real bad that's for Josh. That's real bad for Josh. Oh, but that's real good for Josh. That's real good for Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, I know, like, for the Exalted, you should announce it because, like, you can miss that. But I know for, um, uh, what's the one on Swiss Spear? Um, what's that triggered ability? Prowess. Yeah, Prowess. Prowess, you don't have to announce, which is really weird. But ooh, that was real good with the with the deputy. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give that one a quick read. I like how that one's worded. And I wish like actual detention series were like that because it doesn't hit your own stuff, which is super right. nice. Yeah. But that's just me getting greedy because I should work for Magic R and D. So this turn, I think we're gonna see a Reality Smasher. Too yeah. many decks where I want them. Yeah, you just want, like, a big sweeper. Like, I'm a fan probably just guy playing, like, what, three Supreme and then two Settle unless you want, like, mix it up with, like, a Wrath of God for, like, the Nova yeah. Generate. Because Thrun is out there still Nobody on the, like, Thrun outskirts. Anymore. I just saw Paul play against Thrun round one. Fair enough. So, it's there. Ooh, but reality this is smasher. gross. Play that Basilisk Collar. He's got to get it out there. Yep, equip it. Oh, nope. play the Ratchet Bomb. Tick up. No, Red Drown's way better than that. Well, you probably would. Just try and take it up to three or... Yeah, take it up to three. Or if you want to just hit both his champion and his noble, which both respectable, but you'll probably grow up. I was going to say, you kind of have to get rid of the Mantis Rider more than anything. Well, no, you're going to hit both the Deputy and the Mantis Rider. So then you get your Unbringer back. No, I know. That's what I mean. So you have to take it to three. Is yeah. kind of like you can't do it on one. So, yeah. But then this, yo, so he's going to take up the Ratchet Bomb and then... Is he going to have time, though? Well, if he has the uh, Basilisk Collar in his hand, he can play, ah, equip, yes. and then tick up two. So he'll have more than enough to get through. But this is getting rough for him. I mean, that's a 5-5. That, yeah, the champion's a 5-5. Five, five, now it's a 6-6. Six, six. What is that? What, what is that? Is that a PN Kirinolar? No. No, it's not. No, that is, is that Kessig Malcontents? Maybe? I think so. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Ooh. Two this settle, is... two verdict, one wrath. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, seems right. Two Terminus. Oh, Terminus is interesting. Are you playing Jace? Because then I could see that. Otherwise, I would just be playing Miracle Just Guy, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I was going to say Basilisk okay. Collar doesn't do it here. Yeah. That's how Josh does it. That's how wow. you win. Oh, I think he needed that. Otherwise, like, I think Sam could have started beating in, getting that lifelink going on. It was really the deputy at attention. Yeah, that, like, sealed the deal. That was it. That was the game. Getting rid of that uh, Endbringer, huge, huge. Right, because like, otherwise he's just going to start mowing down his battlefield. Yeah. Detention, right on time. No, indeed. Like, it was looking real grim. We even, you know, we had that like, tempo change. Like, oh, it's real bad. Oh, it's real good. Like, just kind of <laughs> rocking the boat back and forth. So, going to shuffle up here. Like, I'm still, like, I still feel like Sam's a favorite here. Oh, for sure. Like, I mean, to be fair, though, we just saw Sam exile three, uh, what you call it, Eternal Scourges off of two Serum Powders and have a really good opener, and Josh did win. Yeah, I mean, he glided <laughs> his way back in. I mean, he did have a really good top deck in that deputy detention. Yes, he did. But it's, again, like what we said, you know, he had champion, he grew champion really big, so it kind of stymied Sam from attacking in really aggressively. And Sam, too, didn't have, like, too many threats aside from just, like, um, uh, the Reality Smasher and the Mattery Shaper. Correct. So... We'll see what happens here, but yeah, like I said, still very much a favorite for Sam to win this. Oh, for sure. I, I want to see, yeah, I want to see him do the curve again, Jason. Yeah, I know, that was super ridiculous. I want to see it. I, that's why I love this deck, because it, it does stupid stuff. And I love Eldrazi, just as, like, the creatures they are, they're super cool. Ulamog is, the new Ulamog is probably my favorite one. And then I'll play EDH once in a while, and I have um, the old Ulamog, because I play Polymorph Brawl, so that's super fun, so... I'll just make, you know, a big Not 10 Not a real 10. format. 
I know this guy thinks he knows everything. So, can you imagine serum powder with the London Mulligan? Yeah, it'd be super gross. Yeah, it would. Commander is trash. You haven't played real Commander. You know what you're talking about. Teferi you, Temporal you, Archmage is like know what's super up. is super trash. Super cancer. Exactly, it's a trash format. No, it's like you said it yourself. It's scary. It's cancer. Seismic Swans with the new Mulligan rule. Interesting. I mean, insert deck name plus new Mulligan rule. I want them <laughs> to reprint Astral Sly because that would be super so, hot. So hey, we're curving here, guys. We we kind of forgot that there was a game going on, but uh, he's doing the thing. Turn one, he played. Um, and Eldrazi Mimic, and then turn two, plays Mattery Shaper, gets in for three. Josh had a turn one champion of the Parish. Let's see what he can put in on turn two. Uh, I do see a uh, Reality Smasher in his hand, I'm pretty Along sure. Along with the Dismember and two lands. Go yeah, and a Ghost Quarter. But two of the lands are man lands. Nope, just Wombo Ducks. Nope, you're correct. It's not combo anymore, it's Wombo. Mm. Or Wombo. I Wombo, you Wombo. He, she, we, they, wombo. wombo. <laughs> what do we got here? So draw. Ooh, Thought not seer. perfect. Yeah, he is going to curve, curve out perfect. perfect. And look at this. Everything's a turn ahead. Turn one, yep. two, drop. Turn two, three, drop. Turn four, four, drop. That's the thing that puts these Eldrazi so far ahead is, like, they're already efficient creatures, right? Thought not seer. Four, four that exiles a card. We <coughs> have a matter reshaper, something that it turns into something else when it dies. Yep. Uh, two drop that just becomes bigger when it, something else enters. Reality Smasher, I don't need to talk on that one. Now, when you can play them all a turn ahead of time, like these Eldrazi lands let you do, that's where they get to generate. Well, and essentially he is playing them a turn ahead because he has that Mimic. That's what I'm so saying. So Mimic is just like copying it for him, which is super nice. Not, he... Yeah, so it's like a one-two punch <coughs> in that regard. Is It's like it's a, it's giving them like pseudo haste also in that right, regard. Right, because he has a mana advantage, but he has like this weird like creature advantage, right, which is awesome. Right, exactly. So I think Josh here is you know a little bit under the gun, unfortunately. Um, I mean, he can definitely detention here, which is nice. And I don't know, maybe Cleveland thought not here to draw a card, but I know we do. I think Sam does have a spatial contortion in his hand. He's got at sure. least Reality Smasher, which is all I care about. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what Josh cares about too. Is this Reality Smasher that's about to come down? And Josh has to set it M for many. He should set it to W for one more. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Wumbo on. So gonna grow here with the lieutenant, and then what is that? Just is that? I mean, a, he's got a big. Is that champion. a noble hierarch? Or yes, what is that, that yeah. is a noble hierarch. One of the Grand Prix promos, I think. Very pretty. Yeah. So beats here for two. Three. Three. Oh, yeah. Exalted. And then I think Josh is probably just dead here. Uh, he might be. Uh, or at least his board's about to get destroyed. Correct. It's about to have its oh. reality smashed. Another thought out here. I mean, do you just... No, you just reality smash. Well, because what? You can take the other Thales Lieutenant and then, like, guarantee a hit here for... I don't know. There's a 5-5 five, five across five. the board. Yeah. So just send in for 10. Just send in for... No, you send in with everything. Well, no, you send in for everything. He's going to chump one. He's going to trade chump the, these three. So he's going to take probably, what, three, so four, five? So here's what's going to happen if Sam plays this Reality Smasher. He's going to trade the Reality Smasher. Oh, he's going to do the Thought Knot. That's oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So he's going to take the slower approach. Take the Deputy to attack. I don't know if I like that, though. Only well, taking if you don't take Deputy, you lose both of your Thought Knots. No, I, I don't think I even like playing the Thought Knots here. No, you're correct. Yeah, I don't like playing Sonsier because like now he gets to play Thalia's lieutenant, grow his team up, but now he's gonna be a little bit more buff against like uh, Sam Stompier creatures. You needed to be more aggressive there. Yeah, because I think you definitely would have put him in lethal distance there and traded off his board. Is that gonna be the theme of tonight? Lack of aggression. Yeah, I, I, I mean we saw it last last round with Dennis. I mean, granted, like the game, I thought like he kind of messed up. It's just like no, like I still have this, so don't worry. Yeah, about Yeah, he hit it. the RKO out of nowhere. Right, but I definitely think though, if he had been more aggressive in his other in the other two games that he lost, I think he would have had a much better chance. Well, no, Dennis won. Dennis won in three. No, Devin won. No. Devin. Yeah. I thought Devin won. Chat. Yeah, Devin. Yeah, Devin won because he had the triple Delver threat. Dennis, did you win? You're in the chat. I see you. Yeah, Dennis won. What are you talking about? Dennis No, won. Dennis lost. Dennis lost. Devin won. What are you talking about? Because Devin had the three flip Delvers. 
None of the only one was flipped. Right, but he. I'm sorry. He had the Delvers. All three of them. One was flipped. He was in such a commanding position. Andrew, do you know who won that game? Chat. Yeah, I know one it was of you Devin. Knows. It was Dennis, not Devin. It was Devin. Wizards got that game. Phoenix lost. No, Phoenix won. Hmm. We're gonna find out. I mean, it's back to like the game at hand. Yeah. <laughs> like. Does no one in chat know? Yeah, I know. Is this like a Mandela effect happening? Lol. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. All right. I think you just turn it sideways because it's not getting good for you either way. Well, that champion's too huge. I uh, mean, it's it's the only thing, though, that you care about. It's bad. Because if he turns everything sideways, two 10-10s, ten ch champion's going to eat one. Phoenix, Phoenix one. one. That's what I said. Shut up, Eric. He had three Delvers. <laughs> Dennis did win. Ooh. Nah, I don't think that's right. Whatever. We'll go back to the tape. It's still wrong. <laughs> that's coming from GameStorm Gaming himself. Yeah, we see him. <laughs> He's right there. I see you. <laughs> so I think Sam's trying to think about attacks here. So if he does turn everything sideways, Champion eats one. Lieutenant, what, is going to try and block and absorb one damage. And then... Uh, block with the two thought knots here, so he's gonna get in for three here. But Sam will take out almost all of his board. Yeah, I think you just push yeah, everything you have here. To. Yeah, you have to. So Sam's gonna lose a reality smasher or the mimic. Like either way, you lose the smasher. I think because yeah. the, the smasher is just more of a persistent threat. Right. No, you go after the. You trade with the. So what with I the think you do here is you trade. You jump. Not jump. You uh eat the smasher. You trade Thalia's lieutenant with one of these thought knots. Um, you don't want to try and absorb more damage from the Mimic? Well, I was going to say, and then you can, like... Yeah. You either so, like, that's happening regardless. Right. And then you chump the Mimic with the Noble. So then... Yeah, because it's just kind of scary. Because you're, you're, you're letting way, five damage through. just getting neutered. Yeah. I mean, because, yeah, he's only going to absorb two damage there. I mean, he still will have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Right. But then now it's going to come down to he's got these two blink, uh, blink bomb nexuses. That's really what it's... Yeah. So those are going to be, like, super nice, too. Yeah, I just... Ugh, this is kind of bad for Josh. Well, hold on. Can Sam kill him on the way back if he just doesn't die? So, let's see. You have to block those seven. two. So no, you, what, there's no way. Seven. No, you have to block everything. Otherwise, you're just dead. No, you don't have to block it. Hold on. Seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12. 13? Because that's 4. So you block so that's 11, these two, 13. block there. Yeah, you just block a Thought Nuts here, the two big boys, and then you take Thought Nuts here and Mattery Shaper down to 3, and then the Kite Sail Freebooter. Actually, no, you the just... The big you just, boy Thalia's... Hold on. The big boy Thalia's lieutenant. Oh, no. Because no, the Blink just, Moth can block. No, oh. No, Blink Moth can block on the return swing because my way puts Sam back on the return swing if there is no Blink Moth. Because you can take a hit for of seven here. Right, well, yeah, if you didn't have that one blocker. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, this is super interesting. So now... He is going to take that hit for seven, like I was saying. Well, now he's taking a hit for 12. Or no, because uh, this is a one run, right? So that's four, well, eight, the Mattery 11? Shaper, hold on, the... the so now he's it? dead if he blocks No, 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 Mimic doesn't have Trample. Mimic doesn't become Reality Smasher. It gets its copy, power, and toughness. Oh, it just comes a 5-5? Five, five? Yes. Oh, I thought it became a straight up like. No, no, are you kidding? Just, <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because all the Eldrazi's are like overpowered. Okay, yeah, she's power God, toughness. You're so bad at this game. Nah, I'm okay. I play control. I don't care about what they do because they're just all gonna die. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right? Hashtag control life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all I play too. I mean, I did play a lot of the Eldrazi stuff just because my bu my buddy had. This uh, blue white Eldrazi deck that him and I brewed up it back was in the standard. Yeah. And uh, it was just so much fun. I was playing Reflector Mages alongside these Ooh. dudes. And it was just like the most degenerate deck. <laughs> no, it sounds like a lot of fun. It was bad. It didn't win a lot, but it felt really good. Right? <laughs> I liked it. it <laughs> I liked okay. it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so Josh here, I think, just has to like start kind of ponying up. So he's got that big 7-7. Seven, seven. He has a Reflector Mage. That's huge. So what do you reflect your mage here? Probably the Thought Nazi or and draw a card? Yeah. And then just smash? Josh is actually favored now because of that reflector mage, I think. Actually, I don't think you can smash because you have to, like, hold up here. You can probably... You, you can smash with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably just turn the 7-7 seven, seven sideways. Tap your mana, boy. Yep, pick that up, draw a card. 
Because you don't care if, like, you lose your Metal Mage at this point and not doing anything. Remember to draw your card, Josh. Yeah, draw your card. Hey. There it is. Ooh. What is that if, a dismember? Yeah, I was going to say, that's actually kind of decent Does that right land here. into her untapped? It does, but it's an ancient ziggurat. Right, so it only taps for creatures. Right. So get in for eight here. No? No? Going to take a really conservative Well, actually, no, line. if he sends a seven, seven, he's going to block. So that's actually bad. Oh, yeah. He actually, actually should not attack here. Well, then I was going to say, now he can't attack at all then. Right. Because of the kite sail. Well, and he can't cast at this number balls. anyways. He's at three. I think Josh is just dead. I'm pretty sure this game's just over. Yeah. I'm looking for possible ways out, but those two blink mods are what's presenting this really bad And I think problem. that's... I think here you just... All you do is just fire both those up and oh, swing Oh, hell in. yeah. You put them to one and say, what do you do? Oh. Yeah. Well, you can do both, actually. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Play your thought, play your thought nuts here. Yeah, play your thought nuts here. Just, like, kind of pony up here. Just make sure the coast is, like, super duper clear. Well, you know... Oh, no. Josh does have a hand. I couldn't see it. Yeah. No, he has a dismember in his hand. That's right. It was hiding. Yeah. Oh, he's got two cards in his hand. I think... I don't know what the other one is. Oh, the... the uh, memory mage. Like your mage. Oh, that's right. You can't cast. It's fine. You still just attack here. Who cares? Yeah, just getting it for two. Yeah. Josh is at literally three. Like, put him to one and do say, it. do something. Yeah. Like, because now this attack by the kite sail means that even leaving the kite sail back isn't good enough. Right. Because now he has four attackers to his three blockers. Well, no, just two, firing out two blank moths is good enough. That too, because, yeah. yeah. He has one. Either way, he has more attackers Take than, one damage than Josh has blockers. Die. Womp womp. I know. Yeah. I don't like creature combat. It's too tough. Super creature annoying. Creature combat is annoying. That's why I play super control. annoying. That's why I play control. I like turning things. I like turning one thing sideways, or just like taking a planeswalker because that's really easy. Right. Oh, move my dice. Cool. It's just getting to that point that's yeah. the challenge. So Josh here in a pickle, as they call it these days. Oh boy, is that what the kids are calling it, Eric? Yeah, a bit of a pickle here. <laughs> Get Zooks, are you ahead of the times? Yeah, I know, right? Look at me. So I can play a second Reflector Mage, and don't think second. you can really do too much. Just has two flyers here. That's not even a Reflector Mage, man. Those are my Sorry, mages. Chris Pakula, Metal Mage. Relax. No. <laughs> and can. there it is. And there it is. 